Well, what is my idea of space? I mean, space, you know, architecture is all about space, right? It's about space and it's all about experience. Without experience, there's no architecture. It's like, you know, architecture is uh, um, something that you cannot basically experience by, through motion. And in that sense, architecture and film actually quite related, you know, then I've sort of, um, well, you know, that did this museum of the moving image, and it was for me a very interesting kind of project in the sense that you really move through the space and you experience, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the architecture basically by, through movement, um, not through static images, you know, that's why I find renderings are always kind of, you know, I find them a bit frustrating and, and kind of, you know, pretentious often also. Um, 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 but, yeah, I mean, this, this, the, the space, and for me, the space, what makes space interesting is when it kind of is questioning certain preconceived notions, you know, when it sort of produces a, a, a moment of, of surprise or kind of discovery. Um, because I believe architecture, you know, if in an idea world, can only can 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 um, allow the, the user or the, the the kind of occupant of the space to 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 re-examine and rethink reality or rethink the preconceived notions of what things are. And um, so, in that sense, space for me, and what's interesting about it is the idea of challenging your your. Your, your comfort zone in a certain way. I, I don't mean in a scary way necessarily, but in a way that you kind of, um, you know, the sense of discovery and, and questioning of your preconceived, you know, notions of the world around you. When you're confronted with something that you don't expect, right? I mean, if, if you walk through space and you, you know, and you don't even notice where you are, that's not an experience. Um, an experience is when you kind of wake up to a, to a notion that you have not maybe expected or seen before or, or that allows you to question a little bit um, your, your, you know, what, you know, I mean, your kind of status quo, let's say. Right? My father was very kind of um, critical of a kind of authoritarian system that exists in, you know, in Germany in a certain way. Right? And, um, and I, can, I, I can go into why, but I don't necessarily need to do this. But so I remember he had he had a client in a in a neighborhood that required pitched roofs to build a house for them. And he he was a you know, he was a sort of radical modernist. He was not into pitched roofs. And so he built a, a house with a pitched roof. And then and then um, but it was designed in such a way that it was easily removable. So once the government the, the officials approved the this thing and signed off of it, the roof got removed. <laughs> you know, this so like this kind of and for me that was an experience where like, you know, your know, architecture has a sense of of uh, or, uh, has a potential of being critical towards you know, even in political context, critical of its environment and critical of certain conditions. And uh, I was sort of for my father, this was for me kind of like, wow, this is really interesting right? that he's so determined to not follow into kind of ridiculous sort of, you know, kind of uh, a, a government directed rules that don't necessarily make sense. And, um, um, you know, and, and so that for me maybe was an experience, it was, a, was an experience about experience, right? Like about how architecture can actually provoke a certain kind of notion of, 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 of protest and resistance. And I think this is somehow probably stuck with me that the importance of architecture is actually, you know, that's a potential of architecture that, that I find is important. I went to architecture school in Germany, which was, you know, at the time, and maybe still is uh, considered the one more, more kind of uh, um, cutting edge design school and so on. And um, so I went there for several years and um, went through the motions of everything. And I kind of remember some of the projects and it was kind of, you know, um, uh, if it, you know, it was very, well, um, you know, was following certain kind of expectations of what architects do. And um, I remember there was like, sort of, towards the end of my studies, um, there was this class trip we went to, to uh, south of France, I think, with an art teacher, and we were like, you know, 
drawing and painting or whatever. And so there was this question, okay, what are you going to do after school? And then I said, I, I think I may, I may either go to Rome or to New York. And people said, oh yeah, Rome, you know, not, not New York. In, in the 70s, it was late 70s, New York was kind of in bad shape, right? Um, and everybody was like, oh yeah, Rome, but no, 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 not New York. New York is terrible, and I just go to Rome. And I, um, eventually, I, I decided um, to go to New York. And it's kind of a funny story, actually, because I, I was doing a competition with a friend of mine in, in school, we were still in school, and we won second place for like a major bank building in Germany, or so the Federal Reserve Bank in Frankfurt. And um, we were like, oh my God, what are we going to do? There was a second stage to this. What are we going to do for that second stage? And um, so we interviewed architects in Germany, but nobody was allowed to kind of participate anymore because they had lost in the first stage. <laughs> so we thought like, well, um, where do they build banks? <coughs> New York. So that's, <coughs> I took a trip to New York and um, we talked to Richard Meyer and he wanted to, and I said, no, we don't want you to competition, we're going to team up. And I said, no, why don't you go to Cooper Union and go to John Hader? And John Hader introduced us to Todd Williams, whom we actually collaborated with, and it was kind of a really fantastic sort of moment, right? For us as students, like, suddenly hanging out in New York was kind of pretty radical. And um, so that's when I, so actually then what happened, so we, you know, we did this second stage of the competition, and Todd Williams had said, why did you apply to Cooper Union? I said, oh my God, this Cooper Union was the kind of holy grail of architecture schools. I was never going to take me. <clears throat> but I applied. And then the same week that I, I, we learned from the competition that we didn't win, we went, I think, again, second place or so, uh, I also got the acceptance of Cooper Union. So, so like for me, it was, okay, this is New York, it is, I'm going. And, and I thought, like, oh, I'm going to go one semester and then, and then, um, uh, or, you know, maybe it was a full year, I guess, right, a full year, yes. Um, and my first professor was um, Peter Eisenman in a, in a theory class, and we, 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 um, we were reading uh, Tafuri in English, obviously, but it's not, it's not such an, my English was terrible. And I had said to Peter, I like, I can't take this because I don't understand a word what, what, what we're reading. And he said, like, don't worry about it. None of the kids do. Just sit down and read. <laughs> and so, you know, and so then, and then Peter asked me like a week later, you want to work with me? I have a competition in Germany. I need the German guys. And, and, and so, you know, then I was ended up with Peter for 10 years. And that, so, you know, I thought like I was being there just for one semester, one year. So I, you know, that's how I got stuck in, in, in New York. So like, that's how I ended up here. And, um, uh, yeah. <laughs>